Hello there people, it's Rita here, and today we're going to go on to the uh, Pokemon Battle Spot. I just thought I'd make a little bit of a like live video of me playing on the uh, Pokemon Battle Spot and see how that goes. So we're going to go and um, play with a bunch of Pokemon that I've never actually tried out before. Seriously, like all of these, some of these stuff, uh, some of these Pokemon are actually ones that I've only just trained. So, um, but I'm going to go on to the uh, Triple Battle Spot right now and just see how this team that I've thrown together works. Um, so, yeah, let's just see what happens. Uh, rating battle triple. I think I might just, like, cut this until when I actually find an opponent, because sometimes it can take a while to get one. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Okay, here we got one. We got a uh, Japanese player, Yurukis, um, Yuriketz, even, from, um... Oh, okay, then. So we've got a Charizard, we've got a Tyranitar, we've got a Latias, a Clefairy, a Sylveon, and a Bisharp. All right, so... I don't know how to feel about this team, actually. Like, there are two fairy types, and I have a scrap day, and that is never good. Um, alright. Um, well, there's no real way, because they have Sun and Sandstorm on that team, which, <laughs> if only I had my Sand Rush Excadrill. I actually, I actually bred two different Drillbers and trained both of them at the same time, and the one that I brought was my Mold Breaker one, and not the Sand Rush one, so... That's a bit of a shame. I'm, I'm going to have to just go with... Uh, but what am I going to lead with here? I have no idea. I think... Because they don't have much physical. And I do, really don't want that Bishop. Because that Bishop is almost definitely leading. I've got two Intimidate Pokemon on this. So I don't really want to lead with either of them. So I'm going to put Aegislash, Altaria, and Excadrill. Because, um, yeah, I don't I don't want to... Um, I don't want to activate an Intimidate on that Bishop. So, uh, uh, activate the Defiant on the Bishop. I'll go Ditto, Scrafty, and Staraptor there. Unless there's something better I can do. I don't really think so. Um, nope, I'm just going to go with that. Just going to see what happens. Alright. So, Yurukits, and... Well... Let's uh, see how this goes. As I say, I don't have I don't have much hopes. I did throw this team together just out of random Pokemon that I just was like, yeah, this, this seems good. Um, Latias, Kirikazan, and PP. I see. I, I knew that the Kirikazan. I, I knew that the um, the Bishop would be leading, and they lead led it in the center so that any Intimidates that I had would would um, hit it, which was pretty clever, I guess. Um, luckily though, the uh, the Clefa Clefairy is on the other side from. Um, from that, so I don't need to be. I don't need to be too worried about um, about. Well, I don't need to be too worried about it. Uh, follow meing to uh, to avoid like a drill run or something. Because yeah, all right. Uh, there's no real point in me using, using earthquake with the uh, Excadrill because they've got Latias there. So I'm I'm just gonna go flash cannon on that. Uh, you know what? I am gonna. I don't want to switch to anything. No, actually, I'm going to switch to Ditto. I kind of want that Kirikazan. Um, and let's go for Drill Run on the Kirikazan. Alright, let's see how that goes. Alteria, come back. Okay. Because, um, yeah, I, I, I switch out Alteria because I don't really want to take an Iron Head from the Bishop. And it, it's probably going to be Focus Sash. I don't think I'm faster than... Uh... Yep, there's the Follow Me. Alright. Let's see what happens. Dragon Pulse is going to be on... Why would they Dragon Pulse Alteria? Because... Alter yeah, Alteria is a Pokemon that... Like, when it Mega Evolves, it becomes Fairy-type, and then, like... Well, there goes the... Okay, there, there goes that. Um, yeah, they really should not have Dragon Pulse there. That was really silly. And I'm just going to go uh, into Blade Form. Flash Cannon that... Uh, PP that probably won't finish it off. Yeah, no, that didn't finish it off. Although, now I have two steel types threatening it, so <laughs> it's probably got some good reason to be scared. Um, and I've actually em eliminated the main threat, so I can now bring in either Staraptor or Scrafty. So, that's good. And Lizardon comes in. Should have seen that coming. Um, and I've just... <laughs> I've just thrown the Ditto card. I can't win bring it in again. I'm going to have to go back to Altaria here, because... Yeah, I'm gonna have to just go back to Alter. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, I am gonna. Oh, um, I tell you what, I'm gonna wide guard because it's more likely that they'll heat wave than anything else. I have three steel types out here, so it's more likely they'll heat wave out than anything else. And I'll switch to Altaria in the center. 
uh, unless there's something better to do. Could switch to Scrafty in the center instead. Uh, no, I I'm going to go with Altaria in the center. Because it'll remove Sun, so even if they go for Flamethrower, it'll weaken the attack anyway. And let's go Rock Slide. Okay, let's do it. Rock Slide should be able to finish off that Charizard, unless it's like pretty bulky. And even then, I don't I don't think there's a, a Charizard that's bulky enough to take extra drills Rock Slide. I am adamant natured as well. Actually, Excadrill has less attack than Landorus. And I know that Landorus can live Rock Slides. Uh, no, I know that Charizard can leave, live Rock Slides from Landorus. So, oh, Protect. Interesting. Um, probably called my, uh, <laughs> probably called the Wide Guard there, because that's, like, <laughs> there it is. There's the wide guard. That's gonna. Oh, tailwind. Oh, that's a little bit more problematic. And I missed on Latias. I missed Rock Slide on Latias, which is even better. Uh... I tell you what. I'm going to Wide Guard with Aegislash again. No, wait, no, I'm going to King Shield with Aegislash. Because there's no real point in them heat waving again. Uh, do I Mega Evolve with Altaria yet? That is the question. Yeah, I'm going to do that and Hyper Voice. And, because of course, if I don't Mega Evolve, I manage to, I, I, I suppress the sunlight that they have, which makes their, fla uh, which makes their fire attacks weaker. Um, so even if they went for a flamethrower, it would not do too much. And I'm going to switch Excadrill into Scrafty. Let's go. Let's go with that. Whew. I feel like I'm doing well with this, even though <laughs> I shouldn't be. These are really weird Pokemon that, that um... Oh, well. I think I can do... I think I can do this. I kind of want to finish off that, um that Clefairy as well. I don't like it I, I don't like it sitting around because it could just use follow me and, and redirect attacks like that. And that's that's not good. That's never good. Oh snap oh oh it's a really good thing that I didn't wide guard there because they were gonna try and steal the wide guard. If snatch if I use wide guard and they use snatch then snatch would have actually taken the effect of wide guard and um yeah wow that that would have been that could have been bad. And yeah, Heat Wave, so... Huh. Ow, that really hurt Scrafty. Wait. Hey, does Snatch actually steal King Shield? Oh, wait, no, because of course I, I failed King Shield because... <laughs> I failed King Shield because I hit it because I tried it once already. Oh, that's silly of me. I, I, I failed King Shield because I wide guarded before. Oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh well. I do actually get my weakness policy activated though, which is interesting. So, there is that at least. Okay. And they might actually try flamethrowering next turn just because of the fact that I can do I can just do the wide guard again. Uh, ooh, I don't like this. I really don't like this. Oh, we'll have to see what happens. I'll have to see what happens next. Ninfia. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Alright. At least they brought it in the opposite corner to Scrafty, so I can feel safe there, at least. I kind of wish that this was my Altaria that had Tailwind. No, it's got Fire Blast instead of Tailwind. The one time that, that I'd want that. All right, just, just gonna wide guard there. What am I gonna do with Altair? I suppose I just hyper voice again. I have the chance to fake out something here, and the only thing that I really want to fake out is the Charizard. But at the same time, I could try and knock it off for more damage. Um, fake out or knock off? I'm gonna fake out. 
Because I don't think knockoff does too much more damage anyway. Um... Oh, okay, protect. Well, it didn't matter. <laughs> None of it mattered. And double protect again. I wonder why. I wonder why they're double protecting. What is that Latias doing? Especially since they're stalling their own tailwind. Unless they think that they can take it. Oh yeah, they can dragon pulse. Um, yeah, they can dragon pulse uh, Aegislash from the other side. But they're not doing that. They're dragon pulsing Scrafty. All right, I can live with that. I can live with that, because I can just wide guard again now. Because wide guard works, works multiple times, but um, obviously King Shield doesn't. Uh, do I bring an Excadrill or Staraptor here? I kind of want, like... I think Staraptor would be better here. Yeah, Staraptor. Because they also get the chance to intimidate whatever... Yeah, it's bang your ass. Oh, that means they get rid of their own sunlight. Oh, that's actually, that's actually really nice for me. Which means, that, of course, the Charizard's attacks are now going to be a lot weaker. But it does mean that I can steal that Charizard later with Ditto if I really want to and bring back the sun if I don't like the Sandstorm. So I can, I, I, I feel good with that. In fact, Ditto can come in either of, um, in, in either of these slots and just, um, set up whatever weather it wants. Uh... All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna wide guard again. There's no real reason not to. Um, and there's also no reason for me not to hyper voice. I was I was considering protecting with a uh, with Altaria, but again, there's not really any reason for me not to. Um, so I'm gonna hyper voice. Unless they like triple gang up on on, on Altaria. Actually, yeah, because. It's a good, there's a nice, there is an okay chance that that Sylveon might just Moonblast expecting that, um, expecting the Wide Guard. And I'm going to Tailwind over here. Hopefully that works. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, playing kind of defensively now. I'll tear it, well, we're both playing rather defensively. We're protecting really weird things. Aegislash use white guard. You never really see protect and white guard used like that. Flamethrower. Oh, yeah, that's on uh, that's on Aegislash. But it does mean that um, I can bring Excadrill over there. Yeah, Psyshock. So they were, yeah, they didn't have Moonblast, but they do have uh, their Tailwind should run out this turn. So um, Tailwind blew from behind your teeth. Strats but fed by Sandstorm. Actually, everything's gonna get fed by Sandstorm, but I'll get to see what the speeds are. Um, oh, okay, so Staraptor is definitely faster than Charizard. Then it's a Altaria. Then it's Ninfia. And, well, actually, we don't see what uh, Tyranitar's speed is. But we do know that Staraptor is faster than Charizard. So there's that. Excadrill. Let's go. Let's go, Excadrill. Alright, I've got this now. Escadrill's Mold Breaker breaks the mold. Alright. Uh, do I want to... Yeah, I'm just going to go all offensive now. I've got Tailwind up, so there's not really any reason for me not to. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to Hyper Voice everything. And I'm going to... Hmm. Brave Bird or Close Combat? Do I Brave Bird the Lizardon? Or do I close combat the Bangiras? Uh, hmm. <laughs> the questions. That that Sylveon is almost definitely going to try and protect this turn. So I kind I, I think it would. And actually, yeah, the the Charizard is hasn't protected yet, but the the uh, but the Bangiras has protected. So that one's probably that one's more likely to to get hit. And um. It's got it's got a it's got one of those berries. What is it called? Cobra berry? Oh wow, that still did a wow, that still did a lot of damage. And uh, Sylveon's not protecting as well, so they're going to lose two Pokemon here because Hyper Voice is going to uh, pick up that. Yep, there we go. 
and Hyperfoys will pick up the Tyranitar, so then I'm left with just Charizard to take down. Oh, I like this team. I really like this team. Yes, go Altaria! And there goes Bangiras. And Charizard, it, well, we're left with just Charizard. And this is going to Heat Wave, which it's going to do, it's going to hurt. Although Exit Drill will live it because Focus Sash. And I just realised that this also means that I'm going to have to bring in Ditto in just nowhere. Ditto is not going to transform into anything, which is uh, interesting. I've never actually had that situation. Um, yeah, I've never actually had the situation of Ditto not having anything to transform into. Um, at least I'm in a good position here because I am in Tailwind. Um, Excadrill can just rock slide the, uh, the Charizard to death. Like, there's no real reason for... Yeah, Excadrill can just rock slide the Charizard to death and that's, that's it for them, really. Like, the only real thing that can go wrong is I miss rock slide, which, to be fair, could actually be... Could, could actually really hurt. That could really be bad. Um... And I'm gonna roost with Altaria and transform into Altaria. Because I've got nothing. I can't <laughs> transform into anything else. I, I really wish that I, there was something in there. Oh, they protected. That's actually really good because it means that I don't have. To, I don't have to. Them protecting there was actually more. Um, was actually more in my favour than it is was in theirs because it's given me the chance to heal up. And um, because now I know that I can definitely live a heat wave. And I've got two Altarias now. So, <laughs> oh, this is great. I got two Altarias. Um. And one of them has leftovers. We've got a Mega Altaria with leftovers. All right, yeah, no, th there's no way they can win now. They've got Charizard versus two Altarias and an Excadrill. Um, and I could just Hyper Voice. Hyper Voice, everything. Um, come on, connection's slow. Uh, Rock Light and Hyper Voice and more Hyper Voice. Let's do this. All right, that's pretty much the end of the game. Um, so yeah, that's that's going to be all of uh, th this video. I think I've been recording for quite a while, so I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, so th that Charizard is going to go down. I want to see if they forfeit or not. It's just, it's, I want I want to end with double hyper voice. And oh, really? They just they try pr to protect again. I, I I guess if they get if they wore out the tailwind, then they at least have a chance of getting in some heat waves and whatnot. But yeah, that didn't work. Um, but yeah, that's the end of it. I defeated that, and uh, yeah, that was a good game. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, bye.